Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. The buzzer told the monkey you were choking me. Release your hold and I will set you free. The monkey looked the buzzer right dead in the eye and said, Your story is so touching, but it sounds just like a lie. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay right. My name is Brown, Colonel Brown, and I was a member of the 332nd Fighter Group, which was known as the Red Tails in uh, World War II. Whenever I give a talk, I normally bring a model along with me because many of you folks have no idea what a P-51C looks like. So this is an exact replica of the airplane that we flew, which we like to call our signature aircraft. It was a P-51C model. Now there's quite a story about this little airplane that I like to tell you. Back in 1997, I was invited along with four other Tuskegee Airmen to uh, come up to the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, for a fundraiser. And the state legislature had given a group which was uh, a chapter of the uh, Commemorative Air Force, $100,000 C money to restore a P-51C. Well, we came up on the fundraiser, and I don't know how much money we raised, but we raised a few dollars for this project. That was back in 1997. A few years later, I heard that a Navy commander by the name of Don Hines had taken over the project. Well, Don Hines had came up with the idea that it would be great <clears throat> if somehow or other we could inspire the youth, encourage them that there were numerous opportunities out there and they could go just as far as their God-given talents would take them. But it was going to take hard work. They were going to have to be inspired, have to be motivated. But if they were willing to work hard, they could achieve anything that they wanted to achieve. So Don Hines had the idea that if he restored the aircraft, he could then fly the airplane to a variety of air shows around the country. And in doing so, this aircraft would represent the Tuskegee Airmen and all of the problems and obstacles they overcame just to become pilots. Don Hines and the aircraft, uh, the other P-51, it was called the Gunfighter, uh, took off on one last mission about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And after flying for, oh, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes or so, they came in, buzzed the field, and then the gunfighter came in and land, and I saw the Tuskegee aircraft way off in the distance, and he was going down like so, but I thought he was going to make a pass and come in over the field at a very low altitude and make one final run. So I looked, I saw him go below the trees, but then I didn't see him come out of it. So... I asked my friend, uh, Tim Barzin, uh, a 747 pilot for Northwest Airlines, was standing there next to me, and I said, where in the world is Don? He should have been across the field. So he said, geez, I have no idea what in the world. Then about this time, we heard the sirens and everything go off, the fire trucks ran off, and word soon circulated that the P-51 had crashed. Well, they got out to the site, and... Um, the aircraft was very badly damaged and was uh, pretty much wrecked. And Don Hines suffered a lot of trauma in that crash. Well, Don Hines lived for just 24 hours. Well, after that had happened, the group met and uh, they vowed that Don Hines probably would have wanted them to restore this aircraft and to carry on with the mission the way this aircraft, the original aircraft, was uh, was built to do. Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. The buzzer told the monkey you were choking me. Release your hold and I will set you free. The monkey looked.